or Tourette syndrome, Gilles de la Tourette. Uh, Haldol came in injectable form, uh, so is uh, flufenazine. Uh, the only Haldol for acute uh, emergencies, that's why it was the most widely used uh, in uh, emergency room uh, antipsychotic, uh, which uh, really uh, made patients uh, extremely unhappy because it, it's, it's terrible when you get a shot of Haldol. We used it right and left in the name of therapy, but it, it caused a tremendous amount of dysphoria, akathisia, even PTSD, you know, with dystonic reactions. Patients never ever forget uh, their, their Haldol shot. Uh, and also available in long acting uh, depot. Actually, uh, flufenazine was the first one, enanthate and then decanoate. And this, this, these formulations were developed precisely because of the revolving door syndrome. And, and I remember when, uh, finishing my residency and, and uh, you know, these drugs came to the market, I was delighted because I saw my patients get so much better and come back within two to three months sick again because they stopped the medication. So I was happy with the long-acting uh, medication. However, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing to me how uh, American psychiatrists never really adopted these, never really used them to the extent that they should be uh, for various reasons, uh, some of them rational.